or crisscross. This is the Panther F2. Check it out next on the channel. Blackers. Check out this uh, Black Panther, I call it. Uh, got a matte black finish from GoGo. It's a uh, direct to consumer, uh, another Chinese e bike manufacturer out there. Uh, they sell a few other bikes, not too impressed with what else they sell, but this one's pretty cool actually. It's got a frame I've never seen before, and it's big and it's beefy. If you're a big guy and you live in the back country with a lot of uh, dirt roads, like this is a good choice for you, uh, in my opinion. It's kind of who it's designed for overall. Uh, let's go over the specs real quick. I'll give you some close-ups, and uh, we'll do some uh, performance tests with it. Uh, go up some hill climbs, test out the brakes, and uh, give you my overall uh, ride impression thoughts on the uh, e-bike here. So, first of all, this is a uh, $1,600 e-bike, $1,699, on the GoGo uh, e-bike website. It has a 750-watt rear hub motor back here with a 15-amp-hour decent-sized battery here in the down tube. And uh, that should get you, I would say, close to 40 miles of range overall. I'm in the midst of a uh, range test right now, so that'll be a later video for the C-Bike. But uh, what else this bike has? It has a uh, very simple LCD display. Just shows you battery bar, no percentage or anything. Uh, it's got a 7-speed Shimano shifter on there. Actually, no, the shifter is a uh, thumb shifter, and it's called uh, Micro New. Never heard of that brand before. 26 by 4 tires. These are, I think they're Kendas, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, Kenda. Nice blacked out tires there. I like the blacked out tires better uh, with the instead of the white lettering. Uh, suspension fork, one of the best parts about this bike. 120 millimeter uh, travel on there. Uh, and that's really nice to see. Perfect for those dirt roads, like I said. Um, overall, it's a little bit noisy though when I'm going over bumps, at least on the streets anyway. Uh, let's see, the motor has 80 newton meters of torque, so that's pretty good power back there coming from the motor. Uh, it says there's a BMS system on there, four hours to charge. Um, just looks like a regular charger to me. Um, top speed is 28 miles an hour, so uh, I did unlock it. Um, they gave me the instructions to do that, which I'll put in the uh, video description as well. But it's pretty easy to unlock it. And um, the PDS levels are pretty nice too. I like how they're kind of aggressively set. Um, there's not like a you know, a nine mile an hour PS1. It's it's more like 13 on this bike. Uh, but uh, I think it's a really cool looking uh, frame overall. Very aggressive stance. Uh, definitely worthy of the Panther name, in my opinion. And uh, the tires are pretty nice. Um, you know, I, 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 I'm not a, you know, it's a, it's a heavier e-bike. I'm not sure what the weight is. I'll put that in the, uh, the video down below. But um, it's a pretty nice package overall. I had the Walkie F2 in a few months ago. Similar bike to this. This is a better e-bike than that one. Uh, it's got a bigger motor. I think it has a better looking frame. And I think overall, just the quality of it is just a tad better uh, than the Walkie one I saw. Um, so let me give you a quick walk around on it, and then we'll get it on the road. So no issues out of the box with this bike. Um, I did have a problem with FedEx. They actually, the first one I was supposed to get uh, was damaged. So I was waiting the day that FedEx, FedEx was coming to uh, deliver it. And uh, I checked the, web, the FedEx website, and it said uh, damage returning to shipper. So I was pretty disappointed, but they got this one back out to me in another week uh, pretty quickly. And um, it's, uh, yeah, thanks for thanks for Go Goal for sending this to me, by the way. It's a uh, free e-bike I got, but I'm going to put it through its test here and tell you what I think. You know, all my reviews are honest reviews. I don't um, share or hook them, I don't think. I mean, I tell you what I like about the bike, what I don't like, and uh, I try and give you the honest uh, assessment overall. So, um, okay, so let's start with uh, the rear motor here. It is a Buffon motor, as you can see, 750. I think the brakes are just mechanical disc brakes. Um, they do they work pretty well. We'll test them out. You got your uh, Welgo pedals there, of course, the Go Go branding. So you have a key to unlock it here. The battery is in here, and the charge ports down here. You can charge the battery in or out of the bike, uh, depending on uh, you know, the season or whatever. 
Cable management is pretty good. Uh, they all go into these two side tubes here, and there's not a whole lot there for the bag. A couple of zip ties on here just to clean it up a bit. Uh, you got a front uh, headlight there. No rear tail light. We do have a uh, reflector though. The seat is rock hard. You may want to change that. In fact, let's talk about the changes I would make. I would change the seat out. I would put an adjustable handlebar stem on here so you could raise the handlebars uh, back towards you more and up a little higher so you're not hunched over so much. I wish every e-bike came with adjustable handlebars like that. Um, and it's also got a, uh, a, twi or, sorry, a thumb throttle here on the right side. I like left-hand side thumb throttles, so I would move this over there and uh, make that switch. Here's a look at the cockpit. On the left-hand side, we got these nice uh, locking uh, rubber grips here. We got an integrated bell. Oops, it's hitting the display, so there we go. Uh, the display itself is here, just your basic display. Seen as before on uh, just some other uh, kind of generic e-bikes. But yeah, you got some battery bars there. You've got uh, your basic stuff. Nothing to write home about as far as the display goes. Here is your uh, twist shifter. Again, micro new. A brand I've never heard of before. And your thumb throttle on the right hand side. And the brakes are just, uh, looks like no name brakes overall. So that's a look at the cockpit. Here's a bird's eye view of the bike. And you can see the uh, subtle branding down there. I like that. Uh, it looks almost like a little gas tank here in front of you. When you're sitting on it, you kind of feel like you're riding a little bit of a motorcycle. You get that little feeling, of course. Uh, but it's a, looks like just a hollow frame there. And, uh, but very aggressive looking. And you can see the Panther name there. Panther F2. Um, but, uh, in terms of design, they did a nice job designing the bike overall. Uh, maybe just having hydraulic brakes on it would make it uh, just a, a, a good value at that point. You got the cutout rims down there. I'm going to take those uh, reflectors off just to get the completely blacked out look. Because this bike is really nice in the all black um, you know, matte, cut, matte finish it has on the, uh, on the paint job there. So. One small issue I noticed already is that the um, kickstand is loose. I try and tighten these. They don't want to tighten fully. They, they seem like they're warped or something. Um, but um, it works. It's just not very um, confidence inspiring. Um, so uh, we'll see if they can maybe send me some new bolts or, or what. But that's the only issue so far out of the box uh, with this e-bike. Time to test this uh, Black Panther out. Check out the PS level, do some hill climbing, do top speed. It's all about power and speed, and uh, just sheer, uh, sheer brawniness. I like the riding position; it's, it's pretty good uh, for being hunched over a bit. PAS test track over here. All right, so we're gonna test out PS levels on the PS1 and uh, we'll go all the way to five and check out the top speed. 
and then we'll head over to the uh, hill climb challenge. Just gonna use the throttle to get going. So this has a nice PDS one speed of about 13.5, or actually about 13 and change. It's called. Uh, not bad. PDS two. Gonna bump up to uh, nearly 16 miles an hour. Fifteen point nine, call it. PS three should be hitting around nineteen. Yep, nineteen point five. Kind of cuts out there. PS four, we're at twenty one. PS five. Here we go. Uh, no cars coming. We're at twenty four. We're at twenty five. That was top speed. So. Battery is like three quarters charged, 70%. So maybe that's why I didn't hit, hit 28. I did hit it uh, when I first got the bike. So uh, that was PS5. Throttle. Let's see how throttle is. And this bike is limited with throttle the PS level. So if you're PS1 on the throttle, you only go in 13. Now we're going, all right, 26. A slight decline here. Topping out at 26, like one. All right, look ours. All right, I'm in PS5. I'm in like fourth or fifth gear. Let's start this hill climb. Really good acceleration so far. It's kicking. It's getting faster. We're at 13 miles an hour. We're at 14, 15, 15.5. Just hit 16 miles an hour up a hill. 17.5. 18.5. Eighteen point six. All right, here's the steep part. Let's drop it down a little more. All right, fifteen and dropping fourteen point five, thirteen point three, twelve point two, eleven point seven six. Eleven point six was the lowest. Really good uh, result on that. Very pleased. That's a really good uh, result. So 11.6 miles an hour was the lowest up that hill in PS5. So not bad. All right, we're gonna drop it back down to two. And we're gonna go try the downhill coasting and test out the brakes. And I'll give you my final thoughts on the C-Bike. Okay, here we go. Downhill coasting. Got my hands on the brakes. 24 miles an hour. Twenty-five, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, thirty-one, thirty-two. Wow. 32.4 32 32.8 33 point 4 35 oh man wow and there's the brakes Whew. fastest ever on the downhill 35 miles an hour on this uh 75 pound ish e-bike that was pretty fast all right, so there's the Go Go F2, Panther F2. One other note about this bike, it has an automatic headlight, I think. As soon as you turn the bike on, the light goes on. So uh, that's pretty cool, I think. Um, you never have to remember it. It's always there. It's always on. And uh, yeah, it's a good look. I love the matte black color. Um, nice reflective uh, branding on there. Um, you can see kind of the... I don't know if you can see the light or not, but uh, there's definitely a little 
rainbowish reflection going on there. So I threw a little rock rose bag on with some keys are in there. And um, pretty nice package overall. I don't like the, uh, the stupid stickers on the on the pedals. That's just for instructions. Um, why do that? You just ruin the look of the bike, so I can peel those off. But uh, 1699, 750 watt, uh, 15 amp hour battery, and uh, you know, again, backcountry trails. That's what this bike is for. So I wouldn't really use it as a street rider. Um, definitely needs uh, adjustable handlebar, better seat, and. Uh, that's about it really, it wouldn't do much to it. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and we'll see you next time on the channel.